Welcome to Smitty's Handcrafted Guitars. My name is Ian. This is the Smitty Handcrafted Guitar Shop here in Billings, Montana, where we have just completed this excellent instrument that I am so excited to tell you about because there are so many unique things about this particular guitar that I think you're really going to like. So let's get into it. This guitar is made primarily from an African wood called Bubinga. That's the back and the sides wood that you can see right here. It's got a very tightly wound grain to it and a very rich figure. Now, Bubinga is sometimes nicknamed African rosewood because of its tone of quality. It's very similar to rosewood, but a lot richer in look. And we picked out this particular piece because of its uniqueness even in the world of Bubinga which has a lot of variation in itself, but this piece has this very neat book matched color shift on the back, which I just couldn't resist. We got this piece of wood, put it together, turned it into a guitar, and it came out beautifully. Uh, when it's raw, Bubinga is a pretty ferociously pink wood, but with the French polish that we do on all of our guitars, it really reddened up the figure came out very richly. You can see all of the detail that's naturally in this wood and I think it's just got one of the most spectacular looking backs of any acoustic guitar I've ever seen. Now that all this wood was tap tested, that means we tap on it while we're thicknessing it, getting it to the right thickness so that we can measure the sound and make sure it gets to the exact right tone and resonance so that it will serve us best when it's all pulled together and we can get enough volume out of it we can get all the tone that the wood has to offer and I think we really got it right with this one this is about 2.4 millimeters thick at this point um, which structurally is about all you need but it's just thin enough to give you a lot of response that is paired with Adirondack spruce top, which is his, historically the favored softwood for guitar tops of his size. Uh, this is, of course, an OM size body, very common in the world of Martin guitars, but not so common anymore in the world of Martin guitars is being able to use this very nice Adirondack spruce. It is running a bit scarce due to its overuse throughout the years uh, because it really is so perfect for guitars. It's got a punchiness, it's got a resonance, and it's also just got this uniformity in the grain. As you can see, it's very straight, very lightly colored, and just works so perfectly. We are very lucky to have this piece. It uh, serves this guitar just right. That is accented with this rosette made out of Pala abalone that was cut out into this circle shape and inlaid by hand um, in a very narrow fashion in order to give a nice aesthetic flair. The abalone has a very, very rich figure and it glistens very nicely on this guitar. We fitted this with a carved rosewood bridge that has set in it a bone saddle and these white end pens have, if you can see, little abalone dots to match the rosette on there. My favorite aesthetic flourish on this guitar, however, is the Celtic Perflex around the perimeter of the guitar top. That was a bit of an experiment for us. It was a real challenge to get that on there, but I was so happy that it came out as well as it did. It gives this guitar so much more character. The fretboard, moving on, of this guitar is made out of macacauba, which is a South American wood, also similar to rosewood, but redder to match the bubinga. The neck is made from kaya, very similar to mahogany. You can see the similar grain, but this is lighter in color to match the overall tone of the guitar. Structurally, it'll hold every bit as well as mahogany. Uh, and still have a similar look, but we liked the lighter color, so we went with it. Speaking of lighter woods, the whole thing is bound both 
fretboard and body in curly maple, which is also what we used for the end wedge. I've got this guitar plugged in right now, but you can see that nice contrasting piece of curly maple on the end there. Similar to the Bubinga, the French polish really brought out the figure of this maple. Um, that's, again, how we polish all of our guitars. It's a pretty underused tactic these days. Um, most guitars that you're going to find off the rack are finished in nitrocellulose or uh, polyurethane finishes. Uh, we hand finish these guitars with shellac, and it's a very, very rewarding finish. Um, a bit softer and really brings out the figure of all of the wood. Finally, on the headstock, I'll bring you around to the back so you can see one more piece of curly maple laying across the back of the headstock with these gold goto tuners. These are 18 to 1 ratio for very precise tuning so you can get this thing just right all the time. Nothing but the best. And next to our bone nut, the darkest piece of wood on this guitar, an ebony head plate inlaid very nicely with this Celtic knot in white and gold mother of pearl. I am so happy with the way this came out. We have nicknamed this guitar our Celtic guitar. Of course, none of the woods on this guitar are Celtic in origin, but everything visually and aesthetically is made to fit that profile, and it has such a good unified look to it that is just accentuated all the better by a really, really well put together sound. Very balanced as you can hear. low end but also very shimmery and very complex on the high end there's really just more data coming out of this guitar than almost anything I've heard anywhere else especially out of this body size this is a pretty common body size again from makers like Martin but the benefit of the way we've made this with a pairing of woods and also with the careful handcrafted thicknessing and everything that we've done, listening to all the woods as we're paring it all down to get the maximum responsiveness and tone of quality out of it, of each individual piece, and then of course testing the tap tone on the box when it's put together, being very careful about our bracing. The top bracing is made from Sitka spruce, the back bracing is made from mahogany. That is all, of course, made by hand and tweaked in order to get the absolute best sound that we can out of this guitar. And it just has more complex layers, more frequencies that you can hear out of a guitar like this than almost any guitar you're going to pick up off the rack anywhere. But with the quality of wood. almost more than you can expect from a guitar of this size. It projects well. It's got a richness that you know, has ruined me for just about anything else. So we're very excited about this. This guitar could not have met our expectations any better. Well worth the time put in. Uh, we hope you'll check out more of our stuff here on Smitty Guitars. Uh, we have more guitars in the works with equally as much visual and structural detail put in. Uh, we got guitars for sale. If you'd like to look into a Smitty guitar, you can visit our Facebook page and maybe find the right guitar for you. We hope so. Uh, I know I found the right guitar for me in this one, and we can't wait to send more out into the musical world. Mm -hmm.